<laughs> All right, tracking a couple early morning showers in northeastern Montana. Those are going to continue to travel out of the state and overall we're going to see clear skies take over through the noon hour and take us through the remainder of the day. About the only potential for moisture is going to be down in south central Montana today. The remainder of the state hot and dry and a little bit breezy. 77 is the magic number today for Great Falls, a degree higher there in the capital and looking well into the 70s, even with a couple of 80s in northeastern Montana. Beautiful day on tap. Plenty of sunshine to go around. As for lows this evening, cooling off to about 50 in Great Falls. If you want to call that cool, remember that used to uh, just be daytime highs. Oh, what a month ago. So as for northeastern Montana, much more mild looking at the uh, high 70s in that region. Fast forwarding to Wednesday now, and that's going to be breezy over the next couple of days. Wednesday will have a little bit better potential of seeing some stronger wind. The reason behind that, I hate to even call it a cold front, but there is a weak little cold front that's going to move across the state tomorrow. That's going to help kind of feed some stronger wind at times. But as you notice, really by central Montana standards, pretty minimal gust 10 to 20, maybe an occasional 20 to 30 miles per hour. Pretty minimal in the uh, big scheme of things. Tomorrow's highs right on track with today. A couple areas a little bit warmer there. 79 in the capital, 77 in Great Falls and looking at the 80s there into the Eastern Plains. Come Thursday, we're going to back things off just a little bit, but overall still pretty darn mild. The reason we're going to start backing off those temperatures is we're going to see a slowly but surely an increase in clouds as we head toward the weekend as our next weather maker starts knocking at our doorstep. Okay. Okay, so kind of to break down what's going to happen this weekend, I got to show you kind of what we're tracking uh, today, tomorrow. So tomorrow that cold front's going to push through. We're up to Thursday now. Again, it's not really even a cold front. As you notice, it's not going to do much with temperatures. It's just going to get us a little bit breezy at times. But what it is going to do is it's going to crunch down that high pressure ridge. That is going to open up the door for our next weather uh, maker to start moving in. So really that high pressure ridge is it's going to try to rebuild a little bit on Friday, but it doesn't have enough strength. It was weakened enough by that cold front that that area of low pressure is going to move in. That's going to start happening on Saturday morning. We should start to see pretty widespread rain Saturday afternoon and evening throughout the area. A couple of thunderstorms in the mix as well. That area of low pressure is going to continue to spill some moisture over the region Sunday into Monday. Probably less widespread, a little bit more sporadic as we head through the weekend, though. So with that said, 77 degrees and sunny today, well into the 70s. We could see some thunderstorms return as early as Friday. Uh, a lot of areas maybe just isolated storms on Friday. More widespread showers and thunderstorms are expected though on Saturday as that area of low pressure rolls in here in Lewistown looking at 73 degrees today and again hanging tight to the 70s even with that system moving in this weekend. Shannon.